Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, just got a little update here with uh, Wizbox. Um, so let's go here. So if you didn't see the last video, it's just a multi-boxing program that I made, or uh, yeah, tool that I made just to help out with multi-boxing wizard 101. Most of the every yeah, pretty much everything is in the last video. This is just all the new additions that I've done. Um, so let's open two clients here real quick. I'm gonna go over some of the stuff from last time, but most of it's all in there, like the settings menu here. That's all going to be in there. It doesn't even do anything. You can just look at it real quick. There's not really anything crazy. But auto login. Now, when you click the X, there's confirmations. And on the auto, log auto login. So, there's that. You don't want to be saying your stuff in chat. Also, when you open these windows, you'll see it like snaps to the side of it at first. Just makes it more neat. So, boom. There you go. I still haven't um, made it so it mutes the other windows. But I'll add that soon. Here we go, here we go. Log in. So, now we're here. First thing you might notice is this is much smaller. Everything is more squished together just so you have... It just takes up less space. Uh, this little T here uh, brings up the teleport menu, which is just corresponding to these buttons here. The C is to go to the commons or wherever else you are. C so is just... I just chose C. Uh, H is for home. M is for marker. T is for teleport to marker. So the only thing we can do here right now is just mark it. So, and when you press these, it always brings you back to client one. So here I am on client two. Click it, back to client one. Just walk away. Let's walk away over here, and then let's just teleport. Boom. And you can see he's teleporting. Done. All right, word. There's that. And if you close this, also yeah, you open this and it'll snap to the side again, like I said. When you close this, instead of just closing it and that's it, and then this will be somewhere in the background, you have to go look for it. It'll just now bring it to the front. Um, if you didn't see, this is how you rename them right there. It just renames this whiz main whiz alt. So there's that. Uh, send send chats on all clients. It does exactly that. It says yo on each of them. Uh, and if you want to repeat a task or send your own custom inputs, you could do something here. Uh, I'll have like, I'll, I'll I'll show you guys later if it ever comes out how to use this properly. But for any keys, it's just brackets followed by something like page down or whatever. So enter. Hey, enter. Oh, it's gotta be uppercase, I believe, but I'm not sure. I'll test it out later. There we go. And is there anything else? I think that's it. Yeah, just a little update. Nothing crazy. But if you, like I said in the last one, if you guys have any ideas for what to add or anything like that, just let me know. And uh, I'll be sure to I I'll be sure to add it. I check all your comments, so yeah. Let me know and take it easy. Best of luck. I was gonna end the video there, but I'll give you some gameplay with it just to as a demonstration. So first things first, uh, multi person mounts are just highly recommended. Uh, without them, it's just Easy to get into fights on accident or something, uh, just auto walking. Uh, just annoying to keep track of multiple characters, but the more multi person or more, more passengers you can have on a mount, the better. If you can have like a Hydra or whatever, anything that carries more, I'm not really sure. Uh, then you can play three characters at once. So I can only play two just because I only have a two character one, but it's pretty nice. And uh, if you saw back there, at, when I went into the dungeon, it on the main character, it has both characters standing over the top of one and that's what happens when you have a multi-person mount and you go into a room or if you go into a like i don't know the bazaar somewhere just if you go into anywhere pretty much um the the passenger gets stuck on the main person and you just you can walk around on the main character and bring the second person with you wherever it's like the, the multi-person uh, mount still active so that makes it way easier to get around without having to uh, send inputs to the other clients and have it know get off because it doesn't send an input or something but yeah that's pretty much that um uh, i don't know you watch the gameplay it's just you click back and forth client one you go to client one client two you go to client two so instead of having it alt tab out and it deselects spells when you do that you just click between the two and just do it mad quick but yeah enjoy that there's a little bug at the end i don't really know i fought some invisible person and get zero xp but other than that that's all uh take it easy and let me know if you really need this, because I'll try my best to uh, work on it. And, uh, oh, last thing, the uh, the interface, it's kind of, 
it's really minimalistic just because I don't really want anything getting in your way. I just want it to be see-through and that's really it. But um, the main, it's just, it's all not finished yet. But uh, just keep that in mind. I don't know. Still working on it. But, yep. Take it easy and best of luck.